Good evening. This is Adrenaline Radio, 1680 AM on your dial. I'm Fred Blanchard, your host of Adrenaline Motorsports. Uh, and our in-studio guest this evening is uh, Craig Railsback of uh, Blower Drive Service, BDS, for those who don't know. By the way, I should tell you that uh, uh, BDS is uh, located in uh, Whittier, California, on Washington Boulevard here in the uh, beautiful downtown Whittier area. And uh, uh, you basically then focused uh, more on something that was more substantial and uh, hardcore per, per se. Uh, once you got into the into the street rod market and, and traveling all these shows, uh, what what put you into to the the more severe classes, the hardcore stuff? In other words, like uh, boats and tractor pullers and that kind of thing. Oh, I think the thing that uh, made us successful is the way we assembled the equipment and with tight tolerances. And even today, every supercharger that goes through our shop is actually serial numbered. So we can check the history of the product based on when it goes through our shop next time. Now, are you into any of the coating processes? Yes, we've tried all the different coatings. You have done that, huh? And do you have your own particular style and brand or type that you use that kind of appears to be a little better than the average uh, system that's out there? We tend to stay away from that because the, the coating processes tend to fill in too much and don't allow the equipment to work as it should. I see. And so outside of hard anodizing for the wear factors, uh, we temp- tend to stay with a straight metal project. I see, I see. Uh, any development in uh, basically uh, the manifolds or anything like that? Is each, uh, as you know, uh, we have uh, Chevrolet decided uh, in their great brilliance is to develop a new Chevrolet small block. Are you into any of that? We make the manifold for that already today, the Ellis series. Uh huh. Yeah, we make an, a, a billet piece for that and uh, do a fabricated manifold that looks very nice. Wow. Yeah, I, I know that uh, it's almost impossible to stay on top of everything, but uh, especially in the street rod market, I, I realize that. Uh, you're constantly developing and looking for new ways in which to approach and, and stay on top of the curve, so to speak. And uh, uh, I know that that's a real difficult market to chase. Uh, go ahead. I was. You, I know you were going to say something. Go ahead. The, the whole street rod and street machine marketplace today is basically between carburetors and basically electronic fuel injection. Because yeah, the advent of the electronics has been a very large boon to the industry as far as the success. Because in the early days... That stuff was really archaic. Well, and, and today it's, it's it's actually so capable it's almost frightening. Welcome back. You're dris- you're listening to Adrenaline Motorsports. I'm Fred Blanchard, your host, and uh, we uh, were talking to uh, Craig Railsback of BDS Blower Drive Service, uh, a local uh, a local business here in uh, beautiful downtown Whittier. And uh, we were talking about uh, the early days and uh, his uh, venture into uh, being a manufacturer of a component that goes on to the majority of your street rods, which is a supercharger system. And uh, the availability of that is uh, plentiful at this moment in time and how he traveled uh, nationwide uh, presenting his product and uh, showing people that uh, that he's indeed in the blower business and uh, he would uh, develop... uh, Complete kits to uh, you could bolt onto your your engine and if your 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 project whether it was a uh, custom rod or uh, a show car or uh, uh, a performance vehicle that uh, you were looking for high horsepower and we were touching on that a little bit and his early beginnings in uh, the purchase of uh, Delta Machine uh, Huey's uh, operation there in the city of Signal Hill back in the early days I I do recall uh, the company and. Uh, uh, Huey was involved in a lot of things, and uh, but uh, the blower was being one of them, and I think that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he was involved with crankshafts, too, if I remember yeah, correctly. Well, yeah, he built crankshafts, too. Yes. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I took one of our treasures to him, and he told me I could just throw it in the pile over there and take one out of the, <laughs> another one out of that same pile if I, it was better than what I was bringing to him. <laughs> I, I remember that, that very well. Him. I remember that very well. Yeah, he was opinionated. Oh, indeed, he, he was. He was quite the man. Uh, what I wanted to touch on, and what I noticed in the early days when I first met you, Craig, was that uh, 
how far you'll go to uh, help a customer, and uh, and that was really interesting to me. And uh, I know that uh, we've had customers that, that they've brought their vehicles down to your place, and uh, uh, you're there to help them uh, do a tune-up. And, and this is one of the things I wanted to ask was uh, when they buy your product and they bring – and I have seen this is the reason why I'm asking the question – is that uh, I showed up at your place one day to pick up some parts for the company, and uh, I, I noticed that there, here sits this car on this guy's trailer, and and he's ready to start it up, and uh, you're coaching him along the way. And uh, to me, uh, I think that uh, that whole program went a little beyond the call. But tell me a little bit of what you will do for the customer. Well, the, basically, you're dealing with a, a product when a customer is not familiar with it, and you're the basic source of information for the product, that's all you can do is help them. I mean, that's what part of your job is, is is marketing to help the customer be successful with your product. Uh, Do you advise them as to uh, the type of induction aside from what you actually manufacture? I mean, are there people around that you can have them confer with or anything like that, or do you... You're, I know that, uh, I'll be quite frank, I know you're hands-on, but the thing is that uh, uh, I've also seen some carburetor applications there at your facility. And Why don't you talk to us a little bit about uh, how you uh, handle that customer? Well, the, the technology behind what it takes to be successful of making these things happen is part of what we have in the basis of our knowledge. So what it takes to make that particular project successful is going to be a different answer based on each of the projects that are brought to us. That's the way the customers come to us. I mean, if the guy's got a street route that he's driving every day back and forth and his wife drives it on Sunday, then you can't give him a full-on race package like they normally want. And to apply the right products with the right camshafts, the right compression, the right boost, the right octane. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit about this full-on race package that guys come asking you for because they hear about the horsepower, they read about the horsepower. Talk to us a little bit about some of the stories you've encountered. I, I, you want to share a little bit of that with us? Uh, one of our hardest core projects we've seen was a guy out of San Diego that brought us a uh, 572 Ford Hemi. And it was going in a 1971 Ford Dorado pickup truck. I mean, this is so far off the wall compared to almost everything we get. This is one that sticks out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think the gentleman who brought it to you was somewhat little there, too, out of his mind, too. <laughs> well, as most of my customers are, because they have what they want, and they don't want a second answer. Hmm. Uh, we did the project for him, and uh, we developed the... Supercharger for it. We put a 1071 front discharge blower on his motor. It was on the original 572 Ford Hemi. It was dry sumped. It ran its five speed Lanco transmission in a tube chassis truck with a Crispin Pro rear end in it. I mean, on and on and on. Like, I had more money in this thing than most of my customers ever dream of throwing in a project. Where did they think he was going to run this device? <laughs> on, on the street. Amazing. Amazing. We, we did the project. I dialed the motor down to Keith Black. It made 1492 flywheel. Wow. And it made 1191 at the tire in the chassis dyno. Uh, speaking of chassis dynos, I, I think that uh, is there's a facility near you that you use periodically? Yeah, right next door to my shop is a shop called HMS. Okay. And it's Harvey St. Mary over there, and Harvey's a good tuner, too, and he has a chassis dyno in his shop, and we do a lot of tuning over there for customers that need it. Well, so I can see that's you go to quite an extent to take care of a customer's need, and it looks like to me that's, that's uh, uh, in my case, I would say that uh, I, I look at this as uh, you've gone beyond the normal call that a guy would do. I mean, you wouldn't find this kind of service at a dealership. They just tell you, well, buy well, a new one. <laughs> in a performance world, it's part of the job as far as I'm concerned because yeah. if you're going to be successful with your customer, he needs to be successful with his project. Wow. So you make it work. 